Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your weekly reading for March 12th through the 18th. This is intended to be a love reading, and we will just see whatever comes up. Just bear with me as I shuffle. I, I just think it's really better to be authentic, okay? And if something falls out, you guys get to see that, and that's just, I, I think that's a, a, the best way to go. Now again, this is intended to be a love reading. If you're not looking for love, then you probably shouldn't watch. And if you're in a happily ever after relationship, you probably shouldn't watch. Because these readings are usually for people that need to work on something. You see, you got to see that fall out. That's how it's supposed to be. Peace. I am a being of love. And I release all negative energy. There's some unhappiness here. Things might be a little out of balance and you're trying to keep them balanced. There could be some kind of split on the horizon or you have recently split up and now things are a little intense. You know, there's some intense energy here. And this intense energy is coming because you want to restore balance. You want peace. I want peace. So in order to achieve peace sometimes, we have to take action that other people don't like. And I feel like that could certainly be the case. I feel like there's an end of um, some kind of contract. There's an end of a union here. And it's because you are, want to begin elsewhere. I feel like you are absolutely taking action. You're taking action because there's, I feel as though there is a new attraction Okay, there's a new attraction and I feel like wherever you're at, you're not feeling stable and secure. There's like, I need to take action in regards to the, my own love, my own love for myself. Okay, I feel as though you have to break away from something so that you can have the union that truly brings you peace. We're going to get this zoomed in. You're restoring balance uh, through chaos, okay? It's like there's a lack of, of growth, a lack of in energy in one direction. There's a lack of wish fulfillment in one area of your life. So you have to remove it. You do. You have to take action, and that's what you're doing. And even though, you know, whoever you're dealing with may not be happy with that action, it's because you love yourself. I have to do what's right for me at this point, okay? Because I can't live with the consequences if I don't. I cannot. I can't just stay stuck in this predicament that I'm not happy with, okay? So I feel like this is a week where you, you speak up and you accept a challenge, okay? Even if it is scary and you don't really want to. But I think it's time. I think it's time that you guys start to do what's right for you. And I think that's what you're doing. Yes, yeah, like I'm not going to deceive myself anymore. I don't want to invest in this. I can't invest in this anymore, and I need to stop deceiving all of us. Because there's no more dream. This is no longer part of my future. This isn't part of my wish fulfillment anymore. You know, I can't let this hold me back. It feels as though you're turning away from some 
maybe you're moving okay maybe you're moving maybe you're maybe you're wanting somebody to move maybe you're turning away from a family member okay you're turning away from something that doesn't that was once a, a happy establishment okay it's not it's not where you want to be anymore you've evolved and now now it's time for you to just be happy i can't try to prove it's going to work here We've, I've put in all the work that I can. I can't, there's no more proving, okay? Now I just want to be happy. And it's time for me to let this go. I have to. I can't stand up and fight for something that I'm not invested in anymore. I'm just not invested in this anymore. And I know that I've been struggling and I know that this is gonna cause struggles for the other people involved but I, ha I know that it's time to struggle through this. I can't resist this change any longer. I can't, I can't. I have to let go. I can't just sit here in limbo and wait for nothing to happen because I know the truth and you know the truth. There's no more growth here. And at some point, we have to quit. We have to, I mean, there's, it's not really quitting. I have to follow my path. I have to do what's right for me. I have to love myself enough to say when enough is enough, okay? This isn't practical anymore. You know, it's not, it's not what it used to be. And this isn't, it isn't the love that I was hoping to have In my dreams okay in my wishes I, I'm just feeling like I can't give any more to this or I can't receive I can't th this is not what I want okay I can't I'm not interested in this anymore and I, I know that this is hard okay I know that this is hard and I know that I've been stalling or somebody's been stalling. Somebody's been stalling and not being able to master their emotions and take the lead in this situation. But there's no forward movement here. We're going nowhere. We're going nowhere. Staying stuck in this commitment that I don't want to be in. Now this can be you or the other person. Somebody doesn't want to be in this commitment anymore. And now it's time to do something about it because there is absolutely no more growth and expansion here there's no room for expansion it's not growing it's not and there's no new blossoms there's no new excitement there's lack of passion there's lack of you know happiness here and i feel like somebody is feeling probably very withdrawn uh, and you know it's it's absolutely unreasonable for us to stay in a relationship or a union that doesn't have any growth it's unreasonable and it's time to be honest we can't keep being in denial right it's it's time to release this heaviness it's time okay it's, it's like I'm, somebody is being dishonest here. And I think that they have come to the conclusion that it's time. It's time to step out of this stage of limbo and take action. I can't live in this dishonest state of mind any longer. Something isn't right. Something isn't good. And somebody is feeling trapped where they don't want to be. Somebody wants to leave. And they want to leave because all they want is peace and happiness and love. They don't want to fight for this anymore. It's like, no, I don't. I don't. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. I don't want to play these games anymore. There's too much tension here. I'm not happy. And I, and I really have to do the honorable thing at this time. I have to do the honorable thing. Because I can't live in this depression any longer. I can't keep losing sleep over this situation that is going nowhere. 
It's time for me to build a new horizon, a new foundation, I'm sorry. It's time for me to build a new foundation elsewhere. Because I have to, I have to, it's time. I feel like many of you have got this, went through some sort of awakening and it's asking you to release the past and tell the truth and reveal your true feelings about a situation so that you can really have the peace that you desire. I feel as though there's an unexpected choice in love. You have to make a decision and it involves leaving something behind so that you can unite with somebody else in the future. I feel like there is somebody else on the horizon that many of you know who this person is and you have been stalling and procrastinating and unable to make a decision, unable to make a change for fear, for fear of what sacrifices you are going to have to make to, to make this change. And now it's come to the boiling point where it's time to take action. So I think this week is a week of action that leads you closer to your soulmate. That's what I have. Talk to you later.